Let me show you the power of structuring your worksheet to automate chart updates. We have a typical variance reporting example here. We have all of our expenses, we're calculating variances. What we do in our analysis area up there is to do the analysis, but when we want to decide what do we need to show the executives, we go to a second section of our worksheet, our summary of insights where we have formulas that pick out what are the top three overspending and underspending. We've typed in some explanations so that we answer their questions before they're asked. And we give a graph title, which is going to be the overall message we need them to understand. The data here in the summary of insights is what's used in the graph data table to actually create the graph that has all this information. Our title, all of our values, our explanations, all included in the graph. The power is when you structure it this way, when the new data comes in, everything updates automatically. So I'm just going to go grab my data for uh, May that I have over here. Copy that, come back, paste it into May. Now we're going to mark it as approved values. All the data changes as soon as we do that. The data has changed so the summary of insights change it picks up the proper values it has a new third uh, position top overspending so we might add an explanation um, might, it was a, a plumbing leak that caused additional facilities maintenance costs in that particular month our graph title under budget due to unfilled positions uh, some hired because that's getting better from last month. Automatically our graph data table has updated. Our graph has updated with all of the information, including the explanations and the new title. That's the power of structuring your worksheet to automate chart updates. It saves you a ton of time every single month because when the data changes, your chart automatically updates. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.